we are going down on this road that will take us directly to the um, biggest beach here in Lomi, the Asikama Beach, um, which is really awesome and I make a video about that and I I'm going to link it here or here, left or right, so that you guys can see it and since I'm using video, you can click it on my channel and also I want to tell you guys that um, Lumi is located in the border with Ghana and the Republic of Benin because um, it's a coastal city but it's a very small city sometimes my um, my Nigerian SIM card, M10 SIM card usually turns to M10 Ghana because it's so close to the border of Ghana and I'm already tired now but we have to go 10,000 steps now street is empty also guys i wanted to tell you that the best day to come out in lumi now is on sunday as you guys know body like i used to come out to jog every day in the morning but there are plenty of people by this time 5 a.m but now there are no there's nobody outside like just a couple of people outside that come out to sweep or do something else but this is the perfect day to come out a little bit because I have a brother here. We did a video with him last time and the video went really good because we got our like 270 views on the channel. Thank you all for that. We are almost halfway but I just want to highlight something quickly. I I mean I, this is this is really safe. This country is really safe that I can go out the morning like 5 a.m. this time I don't think I can easily do that in Nigeria my country I can't do that but here I can go out anytime I want in the night and nobody will disturb me I'm on this street a beautiful street on the road I don't know what this street is called but I think it's called the Econ I am halfway there. Wow. I can't believe it that I made it halfway to the beach, but we still have some time left. Look at this view, man. Right? Isn't it beautiful? And we are just going to cross there. The street that we just passed is called um it's called Dicom. Yeah. I think that is the that is the commercial center, like the central business district of Lomi. Well, we are walking down on this alley which will lead us to the market, to the market space in the front. Yeah. It will lead us to the beautiful market of Asigami. Yeah. That is the ECOWAS building, the headquarters of ECOWAS. We are inside the market and walking through the beach. Yeah. Right in front of us. This market is beautiful. It has a quarter, man. Shit! Oh, like my country. I don't want to be talking about bad things about my country, but. Oh, God. I can't help it. I want to tell you something. Like, today, there's nobody. I'm inside one of the busiest markets in town, but nobody. I don't know why people. Are not out on Sundays, which is amazing for me. Normal on a normal day on Monday, I cannot pass through this market in less than 10 minutes or more, or less. You understand? But now I can pass, maybe I think I started in under five minutes, but I'm already halfway, and the beach is right in front of me here. Let's go. Oh my god, we made it. We are already at 6,000 steps now. And we have already made it. Wow. And the views is majestic. I mean, look at it, man. This is really fucking amazing, man. I don't know if I can show you this until I reach there. I've never come here actually in the morning, but this is my first time in the morning. And this is my third time visiting the beach in my entire life.
I just want to highlight something quickly, guys. The waves are really getting stronger every day because the last time I came here was last year. But the waves are not as hard as they are coming now. I think it's because of the melting, ice melting in Antarctica that is breaking waves. And what what is, what is really sad about this country is that the this stream, this this particular particular country is 30 meters above sea level. Any any increase in waves can make this city sub, be submerged underwater, and this is really sad for us to see. If you haven't taken any action in the coming years, Antarctica is going to continue melting, and who knows? In the next 100 100 years or 50 years. This thing can happen nobody knows the future so i'm just i'm just highlighting this quickly anyone watching like maybe the un or something like this is this is getting serious because even me i don't know anything about climate but this was were not as like that be, um, before because they are washing away soil as you can see soil is getting washed off into inside the ocean and the city is getting more and more affected by this ocean. We don't know. We hope for a better future for the upcoming generation. Okay guys, the funny thing about today is that I'm not the only one talking. Basically, maybe there are some few people out there, as you can many people out there jogging. There are many people out there. I think today is the jogging day. As you can see, people there on the road, yeah. And yeah, Martin and we too, we are making some content for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram. I, I think la I think this was last year. I make a video about beach. I think Palm Beach. Yeah. This is the beach. Yeah. We finally made it to 10,000 steps after walking a couple of minutes on the beach. But what I did realize was that I was going back. So I had to walk for another 10,000 steps back, which gave me a total of 21,000 steps. This city is fucking clean guys. I mean look at the road. Like no trash, nothing. This is the West African highway. Uh, I made a video about that too. I will link it up here, right or left. Um yeah. I think that is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.